Okay. So, let me move my microphone closer. I absolutely have to talk about this because this is infuriating. This, I, I am so, so angry. I am so irrationally angry right now. This is so stupid. Allow me to present to you Monster Hunter movie line to be removed globally following China backlash. Okay, so the, the most I had heard about this was that something in the movie, like, was offensive to Chinese people. <laughs> Whatever. I hate censorship. Let's get that out of the way. I think it's freaking stupid. Fucking stupid. I don't have to censor myself right now. I think it's fucking stupid. I hate censorship. In every way, shape, and form, unless you're doing it out of respect. But, that's not the point right now. Actors clarify there was no intent to evoke offensive rhyme. Now, I could understand if the Monster Hunter movie did something like, Oh, this is worse than the Chinese, or some shit. Like, obviously that's like, okay, that's in poor taste. Let's, let's not have that in there. But it's literally a joke. What? Look at my knees. What kind of knees are these? Chinese. Ah! <sighs> that is it. That's it. Okay, let me take let me just take a step back. Do you get it? What kind of knees are these? Chinese. Chinese. That's funny, and I'm gonna use that joke. Fuck you, China! That joke's funny! It's just a joke! It's, it's not offensive! The Monster Hunter movie, or the people behind it, are not saying, Oh, we think Chinese people are like knees. And if they were, what does that even mean? The producers of Monster Hunter, the live-action adaptation of the video game series of the same name, no doubt had high hopes for the film in China, since the games have a large and loyal fan base over there. Instead, Monster Hunter's Chinese theatrical debut has been as disastrous as it could be imagined. The film ran into trouble almost immediately as a contingent of the Jap of Chinese not Japanese. As a contingent of Chinese moviegoers and social media users took offense at a scene in which a character played by a Chinese-American actor refers to himself as having Chinese. He's Chinese-American! Like, could you imagine if a movie with an American actor who was overweight, this American actor was like, oh, look how fat I am. Aren't I funny because I'm fat? He's making fun of himself, if anything. And in this case, this isn't even derogatory. It's not offensive. It's nothing. It's Chinese. Get it? Get it? Which some say is a references, references a taunting English language rhyme of Chinese, Japanese, dirty knees, look at these. That has nothing to do with it. Nothing! Nothing! In less than a day, Monster Hunter was pulled from Chinese theaters who were told not to screen the movie until a new version of the film can be provided, um, ostensibly with the scene or at least the line removed. While that's yet to happen, the change isn't going to be made for the Chinese market. The line will be removed for all versions of the film, regardless of where in the world they're shown. Why? Why? Holy shit. Do you see why this fucking pisses me the fuck off? I'm getting a phone call. It's not even important right now. A fucking joke. This this is on the same level of trying to cancel Jacksepticeye for just making jokes. Like, imagine not having a PS5 and fucking... I'm not like other YouTubers. I'm an Aquarius. It's a joke. Get the fuck over it! It's not like they made a joke about rape! For fuck's sake! 
The movie is yet to open in the U.S. or Japan, and differing descriptions of the scene were initially reported, looking at a leaked version of the scene. <sighs> Crossing a desert. What kind of knees are these? Chinese. They're just... Like... What about every movie that takes place in war? Like, do I even... Do I even... Give me a minute. I think I remember the name of the movie. It's been a while. Come on. Internet, why are you being weird? I think that's it. I don't know how to describe the scene I'm looking for. I'll play this. I like that disgusting grin off your face. Sir, yes, sir. I like that disgusting grin off your face. Sir, yes, sir. Well, I need fucking time, sweetheart. Sir, I'm trying, sir. Private pile, I'm gonna give you three seconds. Exactly three fucking seconds to wipe that stupid looking grin off your face, or I will gouge out your asshole and fuck you. One, two, three. So I can't help it. So uh, but no, Full Metal Jacket. Do I even? Do I even need to bring that up? Like, do you know? Do you know some of the things that are said in this movie? Bullshit, from now on, you're Private Snowball. Do you like that name? Sir, yes, sir! Well, there's one thing that you won't like, Private Snowball. They don't serve fried chicken and watermelon on a daily basis in my mess hall. Oh, no. Oh, no, he made a racist joke. Oh, we better, we better, like, get rid of every copy of this movie. We better just, nope, nope. He said a black guy to a black guy. They don't have fried chicken and watermelon. Oh, no. Oh, he's he's racist. Oh my goodness, we have to cancel it. Granted, this movie came out in like 19 whatever, 1988, thank you. Do you suck dick private? Sir, no sir, bullshit, I bet you could suck a golf ball through a garden hose. Oh, he made fun of gay people now. Oh, oh this is just awful. This is 2020, people. Can we get o almost 2021? Granted, that was a different time. Like, you know, there's there's scenes in the TV show Friends. I love the TV show Friends. But there's scenes in there that I watch and I'm like, oh my god, this is really uncomfortable and I don't like this. They kind of they, they kinda, kinda make fun at Chandler's dad being transgender, you know. Which, you know, it, it was a different time. You can't, you can't, like, go back. And be like, oh no, we should never air another episode of Friends. It should be taken off of every streaming service because some of the jokes that they made are not okay. That, no, that's not how it works. And in the case of this, this isn't even offensive. The man is part Chinese and he's saying, look at my knees. What kind of knees do I have? I have chai knees. Get it? I guess you would, we should like cancel dashy games for his threeps whenever he plays super mario maker whenever he's like oh take a piece of paper go to the toilet congratulations you have toilet paper no we should cancel dashy now because some of those jokes oh he makes he makes puns we can't we can't have puns we can't be making puns this is the equivalent of someone just trying to make a lighthearted joke like Oh, wh how wh you remember that scene with Sans? He's a skeleton. Oh, I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. And someone literally getting the shit beat out of them over that joke. You kidding me? 
Jin recently addressed the issue through his Instagram account showing that he in no way expected the negative reaction the scene has gotten in China and in fact was hoping for the exact opposite. As you should! What did he say on Instagram? Let me let me let that load. Oh, okay. I wanted to address this converse, controversy. I can't speak. I'm so, I'm so, like, fuming. I wanted to address this controversy going on right now about a line that my character says in the movie that's being perceived as racist. Let me give you some context. It's two soldiers, one from China, one from Australia. In the vehicle in the desert, they're essentially just cracking jokes with each other. So one from China says, look at my knees. What kind of knees are these? Chinese. That's the scene. It's a pun, and the way I portrayed the character and the emotion of it is this is a moment for him to proudly proclaim that he is a Chinese soldier, not just his knees, but his arms, his head, his heart. I I don't really get that from that, but... And it has nothing to do with that stupid whatever the heck it is has nothing to do with it. If anything, why I'm so frustrated is that it's eating at my heart. The, why I'm so frustrated and it's eating at my heart is that I felt like this scene that was supposed to be a moment for Chinese people to be like, yes, there's a Chinese soldier, that's all. So for it to be flipped upside down like this, it really, really, like, is eating at me. But I will say at the same time, for anybody that misunderstood or thought it to be un a belittling, belittling, I sincerely apologize, I do. Honestly, you really shouldn't have to. You shouldn't have to fucking apologize. It's not like he's here or anything. Jovovich's response. I'm so sad that you feel the need to apologize. Thank you! I love this woman! Thank you! Like, say whatever you want. I know people hate uh, the Resident Evil movie because the, the director's wife, Mila Jovovich, it's just like him being like, oh, I want to show off my wife or whatever. Say whatever you want. I don't care. I enjoyed what I saw of the Resident Evil movie. I know, like with video game movies as a whole, like, I, I guarantee the Resident Evil movie is, like, the least, like, problematic of them all. Would you rather have had a, a Super Mario Brothers treatment for Resident Evil, or would you have rather had what we got, you know? Again, say what you want, the director just showing off his wife, or whatever, but you know what? I don't even care. Right now, like, we're we're on the same we're on the same wavelength. You shouldn't have to apologize over a fucking joke that took up ten seconds of a what two hour movie hour and a half maybe. You should not. Hang on. You are amazing, and you always have been so outspoken about your pride and your Chinese heritage. The line you improvised. He improvised that. That's even better was done to remind the people of that pride not to insult people. We should have researched the historical origin of it, and that's 100% on us. No, it's not. But you didn't do anything wrong. None of us had ever heard the Dirty Knees reference you included. It was our fault for not doing our due diligence and finding the World War II era rhyme? World War II? Oh my god, that makes it even worse! That makes me hate it even more. This. This kind of thing. Oh, we're gonna get mad over a joke. A fucking offensive thing that was in World War II. When even was that? When I, I failed history. When was World War II? Nineteen thirty-nine. We're still getting mad. Over offensive things that were said in 1939. Are you kidding me? This is literally like when 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 was when was slavery? Slaver. 1865. People are still getting mad about slavery. Like it's been nearly 200 years since slavery was a thing. But so many people are still like, nope, if you're white, you're racist, because black people went through slavery. Which is such a ridiculous claim, such a stupid thing. We're getting... Chinese people are getting mad over something that was said in World War II. 
Do I even need to explain any further why this is the most ridiculous, over-the-top, stupid reaction ever? And what makes it even worse is the Chinese people that saw the Monster Hunter movie went to the Steam store page for Monster Hunter World and review-bombed the game. The game doesn't even have anything to do with those characters. The only reason is because they're doing a crossover with the movie. But you know what? If you made a successful video game franchise that is getting turned into a movie, and your, your most recent game has a thing where multiple timelines are a thing and worlds are colliding, why would you not... What was I trying to say? Like, in the case of Monster Hunter... You've made a storyline where all these different worlds are colliding and there's portals opening up to different worlds and your movie is basically one of these portals opening up into the real world and monster hunters, the hunters having to fight monsters in our world. So since that's the story of the movie, I'm assuming, obviously I haven't seen it, but I can assume based on what I played in Monster Hunter World, that being the premise of your movie based on the game, why would you not collaborate with the movie? It's just 400 years since labor? Goodness gracious. Anyway. It's... Ugh. Taking all that into consideration, it really does seem like Monster Hunter's Chinese line was simply meant as a pun on how the last syllable of Chinese is pronounced like knees. Now, what I'm about to say is not trying to offend the person that wrote this because like the <laughs> it's almost like chinese sounds like knees like the knees on your legs like let me let me just give me a stupid pun give me a really really Oh, there we go. There we go. I found one. I found one. A Canadian B, a US B. Oh, who uploaded this? Scoop? Oh, no. Scoop in 2018? You're fucked. Because you made a pun about a USB stick. God forbid someone make a joke about a country. Like, what about... What... What... what uh, I fucking hate him, but... I fucking hate this, but... Like... What about this? Is Let's this say China. 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 Puff Post Entertainment, you're fucked. Because you made, you made a joke about Donald Trump saying China. You can't joke about China. China's off limits. If you want to make a joke, better not have anything to do with China. Like, even if your joke is about the silverware, fine China. Nope. Nope, you can't. Because China might take offense to it. People in China might get offended by your joke about plates. Hey everybody, MC Jin here. So Monster Hunter, the movie, recently released in China a few days ago, and I wanted to address this controversy going on right now about a line uh, that my character says in the movie that's being perceived as racist. Uh, the line is, let me give you some context. It's two soldiers, one from China, one from Australia, in a vehicle in the desert, and they're essentially just cracking jokes with each other. So the one from China says, look at my knees. What kind of knees are these? Chinese. That's the scene. That's the scene. It's a pun. And it's the way I pun. portrayed the character. That's it. That's it. It's a pun. Do you understand? Let me, let me just get...
like, like, oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Right here, another great example. Yeah, man, this country, you guys, I love living here in the United States. I can't think of anywhere else I'd want to live. Some people say, well, you're Mexican. Wouldn't you rather live in Mexico? Uh, <laughs> I love Mexico. Uh, just visiting, just visiting. Oh, no. Gabriel Iglesias, Mr. Fluffy himself, made a joke about his home country. You know, the country he's from. He made a joke about the country, we better cancel him, because he made a joke in, like, 2016. And of course, I'm not going to play the whole thing, but I, I do love that skit. I recommend it. Hola. But okay. I just had to scream to nothing, basically, because I have currently 13 subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> But I, I, like, let me, let me just explain one more thing, okay? So, like, maybe a week ago, I don't remember how long it's been now, but I, I, you know, I saw this, oh, there was an offensive joke towards China, and I told everybody, like, oh, they're review bombing the Monster Hunter game because of supposedly something racist that was said in the Monster Hunter movie. And the entire time I said, which I highly doubt, I think it's just them being really fucking sensitive because for some reason China can't handle anything. A fucking map in Rainbow Six Siege that's a biker bar got a skull and crossbones on their flag. Oh, we can't have that because it's bones. No, like... Oh, someone someone died years ago and there's a skeleton? Oh, quarantine China because we found bones. God forbid bones make an appearance in any way, shape, and form. But what are bones? Like, are they afraid to eat like chicken? Do they do they not eat meat because there's bones? I'm sorry. But I'm not really. Because see, like if I made a joke like that, just out of the blue, just randomly, no context, no nothing, I would apologize and be like, I'm sorry, that's poor, like, is, is a stupid joke, it's not meant to be taken seriously. But because of this, them getting upset over a pun? Nah, fuck you. I hope you take offense to that. I hope you fucking take offense to my fucking joke about not eating meat because it's got bones. Are you scared of bones? I don't fucking know. Oh, the movie? Oh, no. The movie and book? Not that one. Oh. See, see, I'm an idiot. I was stupid. I was thinking of holes, not bones. But good to know that there is a movie called Bones. Is... Is the movie Bones banned in China? Snoop Dogg plays Jimmy Bones? Oh my god. It's just, it's so dumb. And like, they've got to censor so, so many things that just don't matter. The first boss in Terraria, the Eye of Cthulhu, Oh, we can't have that because it's an eye. It's so stupid. I fucking despise. I, I fucking hate it. That... That face that Snoop Dogg's making right here? That's me right now. This is a face. This right here, even better. This is a face of... Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh. All right. There's another there's another of my random rants. Um like I I'm not going to go on for too much longer, but people, it's a joke. 
it's a joke. Like, obviously, there's a time and a place to make certain jokes. Like, if your father or one of your really close relatives just died, and your friend knows about it, and he's like, oh, who died? <laughs> obviously, he's, he's a dick. That's really, really stupid. Or if you make a joke that, like, can very obviously be misconstrued, misconstrued as serious, like, you know, some of the jokes that PewDiePie used to make about rape and, and period and all that stuff, like, obviously it's a different time, like, please stop making those jokes. I'm not going to stop you from making those jokes. I could not care less. Because, like, it, it, it's jokes. Who cares? Like, the the worst that can happen from a joke is someone not laughing and getting offended. But, like, the worst thing that could happen if you try and make a pun or a joke is people just don't think it's funny. It is no reason to call for a cancellation of an entire movie because of a ten-second line that you just happen to think was offensive. That's absolutely inexcusable. I... I don't know what else to say. But I hope enough people make a deal out of this to be like, Hey, guys making the Monster Hunter movie, please don't cancel the movie just because some country got offended by a stupid joke. And granted, it is a stupid joke, but that doesn't mean I don't think it's funny. That doesn't mean other people aren't going to think it's funny. Are you telling me that every single person that went to go see the Monster Hunter movie in China got offended by that? If so, get the fuck over it. It's a joke. It's not even like a bad joke. It's not even like, give me, like, oh, what do you call three white guys pushing a car up a hill? White power, what do you call three black guys pushing a car up a hill? Black power, what do you call four Mexican guys pushing a car up a hill? Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> it's stupid. It's offensive. But you know what? Are you going to take offense to it just because I, if I just because it's a joke? Just because the joke says, oh, Mexican people. <laughs> Another one. Oh, how many cops does it take to change a light bulb? None. They probably just beat the room for being black. Are we going to just, like, oh, we better cancel me because I made racist jokes that obviously are not my true view of the world or anything. Me? I don't care where you're from. I don't care what kind of person you are. Like, I don't I don't care where you're from. I don't care what the color of your skin is. If you're a dick to people, you're a dick. And I don't like you. If you get offended over a stupid little joke about... <laughs> if you get offended over a little joke that really doesn't mean anything, to be honest with you, then you're an asshole. You're a dick for getting mad about a little joke. It's absolutely ridiculous. And I have nothing more to say about it. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this rant. Uh, if you disagree with me, in this particular case, go fuck yourself. Because saying, oh, what kind of news are these Chinese? That's not offensive. It's not. It's really not. You remember you remember Michael Jackson? People thinking with all the allegations that he was a pedophile and he slept with kids? Like, what was it? Not even a year? Or even, like, not even a couple months after his death, people were making jokes about it? Like... <laughs> there are so many other important things going on in the world like the coronavirus 
and like there's theories that it's coming from China or whatever. I, I'm not keeping up with it, so I'm not going to say that that's fact because I have no idea and I could not care less. I just know this thing is very dangerous and I'm not going to just play around. And, you know, we're in a different time until we've been told, hey, the coronavirus is completely gone. Oops. Oh, sorry, YouTube. Oh, censorship. I can't say the CZ word. Cockbore. No, I'm just kidding. I forgot. Oh, I'm going to get demonetized. Granted, I, I probably got demonetized within five seconds of starting this video. But, okay, this video is 30 minutes. I'm done yelling my lungs out. <clears throat> like I said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you disagree with me, please go in the comments where I will probably not be responding to you because your points supporting Chinese people getting offended over that joke is probably not a good point at all, so have a great day.